Good morning folks, Chris Lito here, New Jersey, Delaware Bay editor of the Fisherman Magazine. Welcome to another online video fishing report for this week. Just got back into town from Gloucester, Massachusetts. I was up there fishing and enjoying some family vacation time and we had a nice charter with uh, Captain Scott and ran into some cod, some pollock and some of the biggest mackerel I've seen in a long time. We stayed inshore, looked for that striped bass bite but it just wasn't happening. Meanwhile I saw some of the boats coming in for the tournament and then they had the Wicked Tuna filming going on. Saw a couple of giants wade in so that was pretty cool. Dave Marciano brought one in on the hard merchandise and then TJ on the hot tuna brought in a big tuna as did uh, Dave Carraro on the tuna.com had a big tournament. He actually uh, won the tournament with his big tuna. It was like 900 pounds. But back to the local action. The fluking has been very good. It's either a go big or a go home kind of deal. Big keepers or a lot of shorts. In Swan River, some boats are reporting it's like 30 to 1. So you're going through a lot of soft plastics, a lot of bait to get to those keepers. But when you get one, it's really nice. Crabbing is on fire. Bring those traps, bring the hand lines, and get some fresh bunker and hit a dock near you. But make sure to bring some spearing too or little cast masters because the snappers are growing up. They're all around the docks and they're four up to six inches long. Great fun, great to eat. So crabbing and snappers, it's a match made in heaven like peanut butter and jelly. The surf fishing is very good for a lot of smalls too. There's some spot, croaker, and we're getting word of some kingfish. And of course the brown sharks and the sand tigers are swimming along the beach. They're protected species and you can catch and release them but be sure to handle them in the water and release them gently. This Friday I'll be doing a surf seminar at Island Beach State Park. So that's through Caddis Island. We're going to have a group out there and then afterwards we're going to go for some of those smalls but then we're going to go kayak fishing at the environmental center later after the surf fishing. The JCAA held their big fluke tournament and the weather was rough. To pardon me for taking a line from Gilligan's Island, but uh, the skipper was a mighty sailor man and those 285 boats fished out of nine ports and Roman Nelson wound up taking first place with an 11 pounder out of the Atlantic Highlands port. This weekend there are a number of fluke tournaments. You have the Saltwater Anglers of Bergen County, the Staten Island Tuna Club is having one, the Jersey Coast Shark Anglers, and for those sweetwater fishermen, August 9th is also the Knee Deep Club Catfish Derby. My nephew Lee and I were out catfishing the other night. It started as a hybrid striper troll. We got two small ones of those, but then we anchored up for catfish and it was lights out with channel cats and white cats up to like 10 pounds on Harry. We were fishing a slip bobber about 12 feet down and it wasn't long before those lighted slip bobbers were going under. So salt water, fresh water, they may have wicked tuna in Massachusetts, but we have some intense variety going on in our region right now. Check it out in print for subscribers and online at www.thefisherman.com. This is Chris Lito reporting live from a beautiful sunny field.